Looks like they've got a biogas digester here. They're talking about. This is nothing more than a than a barrel that the top has been cut out of, filled with water. This barrel, the top has been cut off of it. We turn it upside down. We put this is the inlet. There's a tube in there that that lets the gas go down into the water. It bubbles in the water. If you listen very carefully, you should be able to hear this bubble. <laughs> this one's shut off right now. I'm using it just for demonstration to so have the dump. So that, that gas is bubbling through there. It does a couple things. One, when it bubbles through the through the water, it helps to scrub it. And then also, it's the seal to keep it in there. And I got a rubber band on it because otherwise this would just pop right out and I lose all my gas. Okay. However, if I need more pressure in my tank, I can use my high tech, <laughs> rock, put it on top of there, and get more pressure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got my valve open there. Oh, turn on my regulator valve. Wow. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. I can. I can regulate that down. Once I get my pot boiling, I just gotta have a little simmer on it. Okay. So now that will <laughs> burn gas. The neat thing is, is, is that that drum which I filled up. March 3rd, with uh, some help from other uh, folks, we'll produce enough gas to cook one meal a day. That's what most people are eating, only one meal a day, one bowl of gruel every day. Every day for three months for a family of about six. Wow. That's a lot easier than going out and getting those sticks from the rainforest, isn't it, or wherever you're going to get it from? Okay. After this has been going for a couple of, for a couple of months, you fill this drum. This drum starts to come up, you test it. Once it's producing gas, you can collect that gas, and this one starts to wane. It's it's a process, depending on the dung you're using and the temperatures and everything else. But you learn these things over time when you're when you're working with us. You're not cooking with gas because you're still cooking on a three stone fire, right? Okay, you're hey, what gives? Well I can't build that thing. Okay. Well maybe you can buy an inner big inner tube and have it filled with gas. I sell you the gas in the inner tube. You take it home, you cook with it. While you're cooking with that inner tube, I fill another one. You bring the empty one back for a few extra shekels, I give you another one. I make it into a cash crop, okay? Pretty soon, I got a few extra dollars to feed my family a little bit more than just gruel every day, or I got enough to build a couple more tanks, you know, that kind of thing. What do I do with this drum of stuff? What is it? when you get done with this. Fertilizer. It's fertilizer, okay. Fresh squeezed orange juice from the, I assume it's from the farm here, but this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Delicious. This is a duck tilapia pond. <laughs> Ducks and fish integrated into a sustainable farming system. Duck manure stimulates the growth of phytoplankton, which is then eaten by the tilapia. Must be what all this here is huh. if we could uh, actually had a long enough season to grow tilapia that would be viable but you can probably use the same system with other fish probably can grow bass that way worm farm This is the urban garden. They're using these tires for planters. I don't know what is in the middle. Oh, they just put some plastic in the middle. The looks of it. Like some of the cloth to keep the soil from washing away. Great idea. Instant planters for urban settings where you don't want to use the soil. It's really healthy to have at least one rooster in your pot of chicken. That will increase your egg production for the pot. No, no one wants this, but it's like almond hives. I haven't seen a cob oven like that before where the fire's underneath it. Water filtration. This is maybe no more natural pigments. Solar oven, 
hot water heater. Just set the water in a two liter bottle on your roof to warm it up. And farming implements. Hand powered tools. Yeah, these are vegetable oil presses. There's a nut, sh nut sheller, oil press, ground nuts, palm nuts, okra seeds, avocado, moringa. Another oil expeller, hand powered. Wow. That's some hard work. A different rock, rocket stove designs. Different ways of cooking. Adobe brick makers. This must be aquaculture. But apparently in those IBCs there's tilapia. I guess if you have abundant water this could be a system that works. There's a fabric in there that serves as a medium for the bacteria and everything to stick to. And then the bacteria convert the ammonia to nitrogen. That's then useful to plants, I guess. Although ammonium nitrate is what farmers spread on their fields, so. These are like posters or canvas kind of poster things stretched over PVC with these little tubes where you put the seeds in the soil. Aquaponics and duckweed. This is what we have a dancing rabbit growing like crazy behind my house. This is a little garden with cane and some yucca over on the other end, cassava. And passion flower, passion fruit vine here. Growing on this, looks like kind of a little replica of a house of someone in a third world country. Ah, this is what they had in Nicaragua. It's the exact same thing they washed their clothes on. You've got the little washboard basin there for scrubbing the clothes on. Wow. Brings back memories. I am taking a little break here in this uh, pergola, under this pergola, and I just bought a black sapote. Uh, Sapodilla, and then I got <clears throat> some ugly tangerines that will probably be really good because they're uglier. Usually the uglier the fruit is, if it's fresh picked, the better it is. Being here and just seeing all these demonstrations of that they're implementing sustainable ways of doing things, especially that biodigester, seeing the uh, the vermicomposting operation, just I we need to be doing this stuff at Dancing Rabbit. That biodigester that they had made out of 55 gallon drums, we could easily make that in a day, probably. It's so simple, so simple. And then I could have an outdoor kitchen that cooks off of off of methane, like from a biodigester. And it, the guy said that one of those 55 gallon drums can make one meal a day for three months, three months of fuel from one 55 gallon drum of manure. It's incredible. So 
we have to start doing that at Dancing Rabbit. And we could even do it with the IBC containers. Um, we just have to get it going. <laughs>